Welcome to the Lathwaite Community Stadium once again for Bellarama National League action on a Tuesday night and at home. It's Woking against Yeovil Town here. Craig Ross is in goal. A back four of Dan Moss, who turns 22 on Friday. Joe McNerney, Scott Cuthbert, and captain Josh Casey. Jermaine Anderson returns to sit alongside Rowan Ince, one of five Woking players to start every game this season. And Jim Kellerman. The front three are Patrick Amon through the centre. On the left, Jamari Clark, who comes in. And on the right, Ricky Corbauer, who starts back to back games for just the second time this season. Dan Moss against his former team tonight. It was a, a lone E from Millwall this time last term. 26 appearances, 20 of those in the league. Nice touch from Corboa seeking Clark, who's onside here, just had to bring the ball under his spell. Looking for Amon, left footed cross, looking for Corboa, green shirts everywhere, falls to the Kellerman on the edge of the box. Now back to Anderson, shaping for a shot, 20 yards out from goal. Nice start from Corboa, low drive, cleared away though by Rickford. Woken have their first quarter of the night, John. Yeah, and it's a good brisk start from the cards. Got a good manager now to install some of that hope nice turn from Clark as Corboa to his left and here he is Corboa wanting to get it onto that right boot low drive comfortable save for Grant Smith it's the first time the Yeovil Town goalkeeper has been challenged thick and fast and tough places to go over the next couple of weeks yeah horrible places to go <laughs> places that Woking never do very well yeah, at I agree it could be different this turn we shall see Cuthbert's header Corboa onside get the ball down and under control Casey met it, Anderson now finds Corboa, back to Anderson, in the team tonight after that suspension, now with Amond, Casey chipping it down the line, looking for Corboa, he's had a couple of chances now, and uh, Bevan has to put it out for another Woking corner, just got it a little bit stuck in, in yeah, flying he, in the he air just, really. He just couldn't sort his feet out. 3-3 draw, what a game that was, an advert for the National League on Derby Day. Casey. Corboa. We'll retrieve it at the second time of asking. Looking to get beyond Johnson. Linton there too. Here's Anderson. Back to Kellerman. Strong touch, but no Yeovil player in sight. Back to his captain, Josh Casey. Now driving forward down the left channel. Low cross. Looking for Anderson. Cleared away by a green shirt. Back to Kellerman. Open up his body to find Moss. All sorts of bother down at play more every other game nil nil the only other fixture or the only fixture rather uh, postponed tonight FC Halifax Town and Dorking Wanderers that was called off much earlier on today Amond losing out to Andrews now with the fullback Richards Everton and the header shred at Craig Ross from Bevan speaking of top goal scorers Woken of course without their top four goal scorers tonight I mean there really is a big task at hand for the likes of Amond, Corboa and Clark, who all have it in them, including this man, Ricky Corboa, still going foul on the edge of the area. Yeah, you join us at a great time, Connor, here. 28 minutes played, nil-nil. Woking have a uh, yellow card, John, Stop Josh Staunton. Uh, yep. Yeah, there you go. There you go. So yellow card to the former Woking man. Has struggled for form in 2022. I think the referee is ready now for the free kick. It looks to be either the left boot of Casey or indeed the right boot of Amond. It's over the wall, it's deflected, it's just over the crossbar. It will be a Woking corner and as we reach the half-hour mark. It's Woken nil, Yeovil Town nil. So a corner to Woking. Yeah, last year to draw a game for the first time. Up goes Clark for the header, maybe slightly early. Brings the ball under control with Anderson now. Back to his right, finding Amond on the turn. Offloads to Kellerman, left footed cross just beyond Corboa. Always leaning back was Kellerman. Just Woking possibly overplaying it at the minute. Lots of booking. Clearance from Woking's goalkeeper. Flicked on by Corboa, looking for Amond, and Bevan was there. Last touch came surely off the oval defender, it did. Defender or player, rather, who isn't defending their own goal. Again, it's towards the back post. Arriving was Staunton, picked up on the edge of the area by Anderson. He just overworked it. No, he's still got the ball, but he needs a bit of help. Finding Casey, first time ball, which back into the penalty area, brought down by Corboa. Cracking challenge from Max Hunt. What an opportunity! Great ball into the box by Casey. Well defended, though, by Yeovil. Seeking a bit of support. Here is Kellerman. Casey trying to work it back onto his left foot. Still going. Gets the cross. Very central as well. Hunt's there. Corboa's header. Corboa with the strike. Rebounds off Hunt, who's everywhere at the minute. 
Cuthbert's cushion header back into the danger area. Met by Anderson. Stalter can bring it clear with Reckford. One or two green shirts left it to each other. Down as does Craig Ross. Just hurried up there by Malachi Linton. Stunning header from Richards Everton. McNerney, lovely touch from Kellerman. It's found its way to a month. Throw on goal! Saved by the goalkeeper and hammered away by Hunt. What an opportunity. The best of the game, John Moore. Yeah, it was a great opportunity, but let's give credit to Grant Smith, who stood big and strong, didn't go too early and thwarted Woking, but it's their best opportunity of the game. Best for either team from Wreckford. Cross from Moss, looking for a Mond. Clark. He was just beaten to it by Corboa. Asked to get to his feet from the referee. Casey looking for Anderson, trying to get beyond two green shirts. Was clipped there, was he? Penalty! Owen Bevan's challenge on Jermaine Anderson. We've got in and around two Yeovil defenders. Bevan stuck out a leg. And once again, a chance one-on-one. -on -one. Undeterred. 12 yards up against Grant Smith. Referee making sure everybody outside the box. 57 minutes of the clock. Patrick Amond. Saved by the goalkeeper. Grant Smith once again has the beating of Patrick Amond. What an opportunity again from Wokins number 10 from 12 yards has missed the spot kick. Rich Corboa wants to leave for Casey, gets the short throw back to the Woking captain. First time ball is very central. Header there this time from Kellerman, and it's a goal kick. Yeah, it was just a little bit too high for Kellerman. Good ball again into the box by Casey. Turf. Well, he, he telegraphed it, I think. Yeah. Anderson, good tackle inside the centre circle now. Looking for Corboa, who's on the left, Amond to the right. Goes left to Corboa, cuts infield. Corboa now driving into the penalty area, opens up for the shot. Still going, Corboa needs a bit of help. Now with Inns always leaning back. We'll need a new ball. That's out in the car park. Working on the front foot, I guess could be the one positive. <laughs> Uh, elsewhere, Altrium nil, Wildstone one, Barnet nil, Southend United two. Southend continuing in great form. At the back post here is Richards Everton. They have a corner. Elsewhere, Chesterfield two, Gateshead one, Eastie one, Scunthorpe they nil. Got behind the Oval defence. That's the only time that Woking managed to do it. It's a loose pass from Toure, finding rolls. Corboa now, it's two on three in Yeovil's favour. Corboa still driving, strikes over the crossbar. Grant Smith always had that covered. But it's encouraging. Can't be going for goal here, surely. Can he? Kellerman is. Oh, dear. I'll let you talk through that one, John. Well, reminding me of Effiong's <laughs> free kick <laughs> last season. But, you really know, Woking just, just can't break them down. Moss to Kellerman. Moss opening up his body, looking for Amond. Is he onside? Flag stays down. Amond seeking support, looking for Corbara. Cracking challenge once again from Richard Evans. has come short. And here he is. Rolls back to Casey. Casey still going. Left footed cross. Met by the head of a Yeovil defender. Chested on from Rolls back to Int. Rolls still going. Marching his way into the penalty area. Chipping the ball. Across the face of goal. Amond has scored. He's put the wrongs to the right. Two good chances squandered. And in the closing stages of the game, it appears Woken have nicked it. Patrick Amond, who only scores at home, has done so again. Make an amends for the penalty. Make an amends for the one-on-one. -on -one. Has put the cards in front. In the closing stages, Woken have finally broken the deadlock and broken the Yeovil bat line. And indeed their hearts. Woken won. Yeovil Town nil. John Moore. Well, fantastic work from Rolls. He got the ball on the edge of the box, surged into the penalty area and played the most delicious dinking ball to the back stick and there was Amon coming in to smash it home could have missed this time difficult ball to defend I'd be more critical of the, de of the defending that allowed Rolls yeah. to get into the space yeah, in the first point. place and look Woking are away again with Corbauer now looking for Kellerman seeking out Amon challenge there from Hunt Kellerman's still going Retford can bring it clear with Andrews challenge from Corbauer and that'll be Woking certain first yellow card of the game time can Yeovil find an equaliser? They've shown absolutely nothing going forward. But can they level it up? Falls to Hunt. Wrong player. 
Yeah, absolutely. Right place. Shot from a centre half, Reasons, wasn't it? But more importantly, yeah, he could have had a hat trick, couldn't he? Could have had a hat trick, absolutely. Anderson, it's very well played, very well done. Yeah, Anderson's had a good night, I think. Rolls to Casey, to Vokins, back to Rolls. Rolls is such a tidy individual, isn't he? And here they go again, Vokins, Anderson just getting in the way of Amond, and the game is so stretched because there's so much room for Kellerman. Driving forward, cracking save once again from Smith, and Reckford has to put it out of play for a, for a corner. Well, as man of the matches go, Grant Smith is a lively contender for either team. Yeah, lovely sweeping move from Woking, switching the play from left to right. Kellerman coming in and a ferocious shot. Which Smith did really well to parry away. Back to Smith. Full time. Full time at the late weight. Back to back. Woking 1 0 victories. Victory against Eastley, followed up by the victory against the Oval Town. Both stubborn teams that held on as long as they could, eventually giving way to a Woking team who found the key to unlock another three points on home turf. Patrick Amond, the hero for Woking, could have been the villain on two occasions, missing a penalty, missing a one-on-one, -on -one, made up for his errors to give Woking three points. They consolidate fifth place in the table. John Moore, wrap it up for us. Well, it was a hard-fought victory against a very resilient and doughty Yeovil side, but in the end, Woking, I feel, got their just desserts. Patrick Amond getting on the end of a delicious Rolls ball. Obviously, Amond earlier should have put Woking ahead one-on-one, -on -one, then missed a penalty, but Woking deserve winners tonight for me.